Hello everyone, this is Harendra Singh, Assistant Professor at School of Engineering and Technology. Today I'm going to discuss about the user-defined function. Now let's, we are moving on user-defined function definition part. In this lecture, we will learn about user-defined function with the help of example. Now let me discuss first of all function definition. A function means a particular tool or set of instruction which perform a particular task, it returns service from the services. The characteristic of functions are function self work, it gives as a service or values, and function can have sub functions. Now, user defined function, it is defined by users. Now, we will discuss with example. This is the example of user defined function. First of all, include header files and hash include iostream.h input output stream header file. We will use this header file to access all the data in data and libraries function in this header file and using namespace name std, using namespace name standard useful to supporting the all C++ programming files. Now, integer main function, every program will execute from main function. So we will write main function and the return type integer int because it will return integer value or return zero. So first of all, open the body of main function and we will create prototype of the user defined function. The user defined function name sum and return type integer. And we will pass two parameters. The parameters return time is integer and integer. So we will declare user defined function prototype by this, this statement. Now we will take three inputs, integer A, B, C. There are variable declaration. And <clears throat> we will take input value of A variable, enter the value of A and C in A. Now enter the value of B, C in B. So all the value we will take A of B by users, by console input. Now, after that, we will create user defined function sum and passing two parameters a comma b and the the return answer will be stored in the c variable because this user defined function assigned by assign in c variable and the sum a comma b user defined function will provide prototype declaration in the starting integer sum, integer comma, integer. Prototype means it is a information about the function. Okay. And the answer return in some function will store in C variable and the C variable we will print over here, the sum of two number and the value of C will be display over here and return zero. Okay. If we create user defined function, then we will define definition of user defined function after close the main function body look at here we will use after close the main function body definition part of the user defined function first of all we will write return type after that function name and those parameter we will pass in the user defined function sum and with data types. So A integer data type and B also integer data type. This is called formal arguments and some A and B is called actual arguments. Over here, we will give a definition of user defined function. Look at this after open the user defined function body, we will declare one variable that is Z and type of Z variable is integer. After that, we will store the value of a plus b in z variable, then answer will store in z variable and it will return z variable because the value of a plus b will, will store in z variable. So the data type of some function is integer and it will return z value and z value return and store in c and c will display the final output. Thank you very much. This is the overall about the user defined function. Thank you.